In this video, we're going to look at, at multiplying at algebraic terms. Now, we've got two different expressions, two different expressions here that we want to simplify. We've got x plus x, and we've got x times x. Now, in the previous video, we saw how we could collect like terms. So if you have one lot of x, and you add another lot of x, then you would have two lots of x, and you just write that as 2x. But if you have x times x, then we can actually write that as x squared. And the reason we can write it like that is that we know that if we had, say, 3 squared, what that means is 3 times 3. It means a number multiplied by itself. That's what squaring means. So similarly, if you had x squared, that just means x times x in exactly the same way. So when we multiply these together, we get x squared instead of 2x. Now, I think this topic is best done by just doing a lot of examples. So let's say that we have x times y firstly. What does that give us? Well, that just gives us xy. And that's because in algebra, when we write two things next to each other, it means that you're multiplying them together. So these mean exactly the same thing. But we'd always write it like this rather than like that. Question two, if we've got x times x times x, what is that? Well, it's actually x cubed. And the reason is, is we know that anything cubed means that thing times itself times itself. So it's x times x times x would be the same as x cubed. It's not 3x. Thirdly, we've got x times 2x. Now, I always start, when you've got numbers on front of these variables, I always start by timesing the numbers together first. So we've just got a single 2 here, and there's implicitly a 1 in front of that. So we could think of that as 1x, because 1 lot of x is the same as x. So 1 times 2 is 2, and then we've got the x times the x, which is x squared. Remember that ultimately, that this just means 1 times x times 2 times x. So everything is being multiplied together. And when we multiply things together, it doesn't matter what order you multiply them in. So we might as well multiply the numbers together first. And we put the number on the front. Right, fourth one, we've got 3x times 2y. So this means 3 times x times 2 times y. So we might as well multiply the numbers together first. So we've got 3 times 2 is 6. And then we've got the x times the y, which is just xy. Question number 5. We've got 4xy multiplied by 2x. Now, this is starting to get a bit harder. Again, we always start with the numbers. So we've got 4 times 2, which is 8. And then let's look at the variables in alphabetical order. We first got the x's. So we've got x times x, which we know from earlier is x squared. And then we've just got a single y, so we're going to put y. And then question six, we've got 5m squared n times by 3mn. Again, start with the numbers in the front. So we've got 5 times 3. That is 15. And then we do the variables in alphabetical order. So we've got m squared times m. Now, if you think about it, m squared means m times m, doesn't it? So we've got m times m times another m. How many m's did we multiply together? Well, three of them. So it's m cubed. Yep. And then finally, we've got n times n, which we know is n squared. A few more. We've got question 7. We've got 5x squared. Now remember that when we square something, it means that thing times by itself. So we could write that as 5x times by itself. And then we do the usual thing. So 5 times 5 is 25. And then the x times x is x squared. A common mistake that students make is that they then think that's 5x squared rather than 25x squared because they don't square the 5. And then question 8, we've got 2xy cubed. Anything cubed means that thing times by itself, times by itself. So it's 2xy times 2xy times 2xy. Let's deal with the numbers first. So we've got 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. x times x times x is x cubed. And y times y times y is y cubed. Now let's do some test your understanding questions. You've got these questions here. You see, first you've got 5m times 2n. Then you've got 2x times 3xy times yz. 
And then finally, as a slightly harder one, we've got 3xy squared times by 2x. So you may want to pause the video now to have a go at those. Right, hopefully you've had a chance. Let's first do this one. We always start with the numbers first. So 5 times 2 is 10. And then we've just got the m and the n. Just a single occurrence of each. Right, this one, let's multiply the numbers first together. We've got 2 times 3, and that's implicitly a 1 in the front. yz just means one lot of yz. So we've got 2 times 3 times 1, which is just 6. We've got x times x, and there's no x there, so that's x squared, because we had two x's multiplied together. Then how many y's have we got? We've got y times y, which is y squared. And then we've only got a single z, so we just put z. And then the final one, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to write that as 3xy times 3xy, because anything squared means that thing times by itself. And then we've got times the 2x. So we've got 3 times 3 times 2, which is 18. We've got x times x times x, which is x cubed. And we've got y times y, which is y squared.